So, Karen the movie trailer. We'll be watching it. Wait, we will be watching it. Um, but I thought I'd preface this whole thing by just talking about it a little bit. Uh, I, yes, I'm cleaning my sofa. But Jasper is still, still around, as always. I saw this trailer. It came to light on Twitter. And I thought to myself, this is a comedy. This looks like a comedy. But no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a comedy at all. In fact, it was deadly serious. And I think, I think that's what really spells just utter, utter, utter drivel nonsense with this thing. Because this is not an inherently bad idea. If they'd taken it for what it should be, which is an absolute mega comedy. If this was a comedy, ladies and gents, this would, it, 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 it would be amazing. It would be amazing. But it's not. It's not a comedy. And, and you'll think it's a comedy, but it's not. They're deadly serious. And the thing is, this comes from, you know, it's the meme of a Karen. We all know a Karen. I know Karens. I've got Karens that live on my street. They hate my cars. Oh, my cars that I move all of like, what, once a week? And I get berated by them for moving my car and it being loud for all of five minutes. We all know a Karen. They're absolute dickheads, right? I'll go and speak to the manager. We all know one. This should have been a comedy, but it's not. It's way off the mark. And it also indicates to me just the just the creative bankruptcy at Hollywood. It's absolutely atrocious. So what we'll do, we'll watch this trailer together. And I'll break it, I'm not going to break it down, but I'm just going to talk about it. Like which bit is which, and which bit should have been a comedy, which bit shouldn't have been. Now it's painting out this Karen to be a racist, right? Which is like, I can, you know, I can, I, I can expect that in this day and age. That's what they're going to do with, you know, with these Karens. Of course it is. And, um, so here we go. Here's, here's Le Trailer. Um, but like I say, it's literally painting this Karen out to be, you know, mega racist. This white woman annoyed that black people have moved in on her street. And this could have been a great comedy, but it's not. They've taken the meme of exposing these idiots to something hilarious, which it is hilarious, and they've twisted it into this ultra serious, weird, weird movie. Let's have a look, right? Let's have a look. I don't even know who this is. Who's Bet Star Ridge? Who's this? I guess this is a long way from East Point. So Baby, you just gotta give it a chance. So Side note, who's Coke Daniels? Is that a nickname? Because you've been doing too much. I guess this is a long way from East Point. Baby, you just gotta give it a chance. Tell me about your new neighbors. They're black. Do you mind keeping it down? If you don't comply, I'll tell the manager. That could have been a comment. That could have been. This could be hilarious, couldn't it? It's setting it all up for hilarity. Because you see this and you think of the memes, you think of the videos. Nope. Somebody's taking home security serious. Hi, I am Karen Drexler. I'm your neighbor. You need to be taking your trash cans off the curb right when the trash is picked up. Is she nice? Yeah, she's nice. Wait a minute. We have a white entitled neighbor named Karen. Karen. Again, we have a white entitled neighbor named Karen. Play it up, man. It could be hilarious. Also, side note, black people can be Karens too. So can Chinese people. Anyone can be a Karen. It's a state of mind. It's not skin colour. Alright? Okay, enjoy yourself. There she is, slaving away in the kitchen. I've come across some very suspecting teenagers. Suspecting? Can you please hurry up? Please, it's either very aggressive. Yep. I left my wallet. And again, you see this and you're like, oh, clearly it's a comedy. Clearly this is funny. No. With my ID at home. Leave us alone, we didn't do anything. How the heck did you end up moving to this neighborhood? Next thing you know, we have criminals. You take care of him and I will take care of her. Would you mind stepping out of the car? 
my office has uncovered some disturbing information on her and her brother. She doesn't like black people. We have a search warrant. Well, I'm black. I know, she doesn't like you either. <laughs> I want to sell the house. What I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living next door to a racist. You went in her house? <laughs> you wouldn't want your wife to know our little secret, right? It's not standard police procedure back there. What do we have here? We well, got a hammer. Everything looks like nails. You people are very angry. Shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> Bad things happen to people that don't comply. Even, even that, Karen, even that could have been funny. That, like, that looks like a comedy, doesn't it? But it's not. It's not a comedy. Oh my god. Why? It looks so bad. If they'd made this into a comedy, I would have loved it. Like, remo remove the, the sort of racial bias thing from it all. Because literally anyone could be a Karen. And, and that really is important to note. Like, I'm, I'm so sick of people. Like, it normally in the videos, like, of course it's a Karen. You know, it's, it's, a, white, it's a white person being a Karen. But it could be anyone. Like, that's it's just a state of mind. Um, th it's just nonsense. This is insane. And, like, and it could be, like, even this, you know, like, going... You know, going like that like in, in the phone. Like, this is... It could be hilarious. I don't understand why they decided to take it seriously. And it's bombing. I mean, look. 3.6 thousand likes to 9.6 thousand dislikes. It's just pathetic. And I think people in the comments as well are like... You know, this looks like one of those College Humor SNL parody sketches. The white character's name is literally Karen White. I don't know what you're expecting when the director's name is Coke Daniels. Yeah, that's what I said at the start. This movie scores 10 out of 10 on the woke scale. Hot garbage. This is proof that Hollywood thinks their viewers are dumb. But this isn't even Hollywood. I don't even know who this is. A must-have for every white household, a Confederate soup dispenser. It's just... It's so strange why they thought that this was going to be good. This feels like a parody, except it isn't. Exactly. It, it could have been a comedy, but it's not. But it could, like, I reckon this was written as a comedy. I reckon it was written as a comedy. It must have been. But this thing, this thing is going to bomb. This thing is going to bomb out the wazoo. It's done. It's not, like, look at it. It's just such garbage. Like you've got everything in there, ladies and gents. You've got everything in there. Suspended for excessive force. Oh dear. So I thought I'd do a video on this because they've just. The thing is, this is either a tale of a few things, right? Coke Daniels is just a bit too much. Um, living up to his name or her name. I assume it's a dude, but I'm assuming genders. That's bigoted, I guess. Uh, or it was written as a comedy. And then the studio, whoever is behind it, Flixville, Bet Star USA or some shite, was like, I tell you what we'll do, we'll amp it up. We'll make it serious. We'll play on the culture war. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. This should have been a comedy. If this was a comedy, this would have rocked. Like, I actually think this would have rocked. But it's not. And it does show creative bankruptcy in Hollywood. Because at the end of the day, guys, like if, if this is all that they're making, they're like they're just taking a meme and going, oh, we'll make a serious movie out of it. I mean, god damn. What next? Are you going to have Gammon, the movie? Which, side note, Gammon is like a term for like a working class, um, like a working class British person, like up, up, typically up north, like a football fan, that sort of thing. Um, I think you're going to get Gammon, the movie? Are like, we just going to play on every single racial stereotype now that's come out of there? Because, again, they're playing on Karen being a racial stereotype now for a white person. Are we, like, we going to do the others? No, no, of course not, no. This should have been a comedy. I think it would have I I I been hilarious. I would have loved this if this was a comedy. 
But alas, no. Let me know what you think. Take care.